Hi guys, um, my name is Neil Wilman and I'm the principal and trainer for the New Zealand Chi School. Today I'm going to run through a brief topic, uh, just a sample of the information I'd normally teach during our Cheese Maker Certificate course. My topic today is the addition of calcium chloride. Firstly, uh, how do we add calcium to the milk? Calcium is added in a solution or a diluted form of calcium chloride, that is a calcium salt. Uh, typically it's sold as a granulated powder or a 50% solution. If it's sold as a powder, it needs to be a food grade powder, food grade calcium chloride, and then it's diluted to the appropriate level, e.g. 50% or thereabouts for addition to cheese making. So why do we add calcium? Well, typically for one of three reasons. Firstly, there may be a deficiency in the calcium levels of the milk via poor soil chemistry uh, or calcium deficient feed, uh, which may be uh, related to the seasonal changes in the, uh, in the pastures, etc. Secondly, um, pregnant cows, sheep or goats are, are in, this, in the late stage of lactation. Uh, when they're in this stage, the animal gives first to the developing fetus and then secondly to the milk. So uh, the calcium is there to build bones for the developing fetus and uh, you get what's left over for cheese making, which is often, often a reduction in calcium. The final reason is that uh, sometimes the cheese maker, uh, it's their choice, they may feel it gives them better control over the cheese making. And what are the effects of adding calcium? Well, calcium can assist milk coagulation by shortening the coagulation time and improving the curd firmness uh, if the milk is calcium deficient. It may also improve the separation of whey from the curds during the curds and whey stage, that is after the cutting stage. Other effects of adding calcium well, it increases the amount of soluble calcium in the milk, uh, obviously, um, but also it brings about a reduction in uh, milk pH through freeing up of some hydrogen ions. In some cases, however, um, particularly hard or semi-hard cheeses, it may result in a bitter flavour of the cheese if um, you add too much. So that's it for this um, short video on addition of calcium in cheese making. Cheers.